Hey! Welcome back. Now that Bilbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep too. This guy is married, but his wife totally wouldn't come farm with him. So tragic. <laughs> Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Here, oh, there's a balloon. Huh? You know, it it looks just a little bit um exploded, but I'm sure we can patch that up. Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I I'd love to fly it someday. Find the other grumpuses. Find out what they. Find the other grumpuses, find out what they know. I'll see ya. Oh, 
So, even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. Maybe a half dozen or so? Take care. Evening. Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. See, nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt, like plants. Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before. Fresh and gooey-like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough.
And all the snap, but don't.
Got them all. I knew I picked the right Grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. 
Even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Befica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. Good answer. You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to and tell me. If you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. Farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted. But I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy, I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Wife? Like it wasn't prickly enough already. 10 out of 10 perf dirt. Uh, Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town. Bestie.
It. You're bringing everybody back! You even got Bethika here. She's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. Bestie, good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it, it's bug infused. So it's about as strong as you. <laughs> I give this party a two. Having a good time, buddy. You should go and mingle with your. Oh, hey! You remember Charlie? How's my little sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Granville, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh. Great. <laughs> it's, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Well, howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. Uh, come on, everybody! It's a party! Woo! Drink, mingle, get wild! Uh, Be Befica, doesn't this music make you just want to dance? With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Wambus, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got nothing to say to you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kid. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Gramble. Bug Snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love. That's why your wife left you. 
I'm gonna do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here. And... Don't act like you're in charge. If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here. Don't you mean Trippany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! It don't make me wrong! You all want trip me back so bad? Go find her yourself! Well, that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Look here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. Oh, come on, at least try it. You gotta be curious, right? Huh? How can you write about bug snacks without first hand experience? That's the spirit. Strabby. Ow. Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, as long as you're fine, I'll um, I'll get out of your hair. that pops a look that's hot darling I would be I'm glad you're here. Uh, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and, uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. Oh, 
Find the other grumpuses, find out what they know, and convince them to come. I'll see ya. Notice you there. Hi, how are ya? I'm Trippany Lotta Blog. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, ya? Yeah? You want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization buried here, and I barely dug one hole. But I could use a trip to the old research tent once I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's fossilized in their stomachs. Looks a bit like a local bug snack. I'll need some live ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. <laughs> Friend, welcome. Come on over and take a look. I assure you, I won't be disappointed. <laughs> the name's Cromdo Face, the one and only salesman in paradise. to sell you. Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, eh? Huh? Oh, baby, what a bridge! All yours for just 100 buck snacks. What do you say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you. Cheap is free. Follow me, pal.
Like they have bones. They're squishy all the way through. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked up. If you could do something to get that door open, that'd be real swell. Oh, you're too kind. Meet me inside. Get out! These murals are still preserved. As far as I know, we were the first grumps to settle this island. But here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? Hmm, what's this? Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Have a good one. 
Rise on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? Windmills over there got
windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and...
would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me.
Would you mind finding that chamber? How long those snacks were in there? Did you find anything else in the chamber? Hmm, 
That's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm. Well, I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. Oh, I hate to leave poor Philbo hanging. Poor fella can't hardly take care of himself. But, uh, Wambus is back in town. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to c and but it's just easier to, uh, stay out here with the bones. I do, don't I? If only because there's nowhere else to go. I just wish it were easier to talk to him. I thought maybe time would help. But time's just pushing me closer to the grave, and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. Thank you. 
This is Chromecast with Google TV. It's perfect if you want to jump right into Netflix at the click of a button. Bon appetit. That's Chromecast with Google TV. I can't believe that Daniel's even gotten on my shirts. Daniel, State Farm offers surprisingly great rates to everyone. Sure do. You know what I mean? Hi guys, it's Aiden from Game Player here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get pop picks in bug snacks. There is actually a bit of a process here. So you make it down to get pop picks in on their own so set up a launch pad and a snack trap on top of it don't set them up there you'll see why in a minute don't set them up too close to this scorpion then you need to fire some hot sauce at the pop pick scorpions hate hot sauce they also hate the snack traps as you can see there throw fireballs at it basically that will hit the pop tick and cause it to burn and eventually puff up real big and you'll be able to catch it well not real big but relatively big for a pop tick so set up your snack trap at your launch pad fire the snack trap at the pop tick catch it and then pick up the trap really quickly or the scorpenio will set fire to it basically because they're mean like that so what you can try and do to distract the scorpenio is you can fire some hot sauce at the wall
back. Oh, they had to come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Man, Trippy, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just, I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. I wasn't gonna give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Maybe even lend a helping paw. You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome home, Triffy. Let's hope the cactus doesn't get jealous. What's it now? No. Nothing. <laughs> Sure, sounds like a real hoot. Oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic, just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. Oh goodness, my name! I'm Trippany Lottablog. I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Really get out there. Try following in Grandma's footsteps. You might have heard of Veronica Lottablog. An adventuring type just like Lizbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches and taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Gut snacks from a th thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. It's less I left and more. I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Bramble's throat. Lovely gale, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabelle. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. It's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbert wound up. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. 
Speaking of mysteries. You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? Terrible technique. What's up? Like a campfire. <laughs>
Bunger, 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 Ridiculous, and I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art, and art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know why. Oh, not nearly enough, but Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling. How you doing? Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None of we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. 
It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? Hell. The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. As long as they were exposed, oh, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, I'm not the worst grump says to make it to Snack Tooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use some grump from. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Lufty eats grumpus. Ah, no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Ah, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me. Me snackless. <laughs> Dog grump. Is somebody gonna check on Philbo?
Uh, sorry, I, uh, got a little too spooked, and, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I, I I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. Sorry about that. What a mess. Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarch? Oh, Wham, this is just the title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Uh, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. <laughs> I said she's coming for us, yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us, oh. No need to freak out. It's probably just a, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus! I'm not getting eaten <laughs> by some monster or Floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Bilbo first. <laughs> Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Let's get back and tell the others. Folks, I'm fine. <laughs> um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what 
if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hey, buddy. Hey, Tiffany. What's going on? You doing all right? Windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? to pay up. What? You used it, you bought it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Hey, hey, you can pay me three of those cheapies. They think they're so great. Flying around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth.
God damn it. I know you're just itching to get your paws on that bridge, so I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want a fryer, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and it wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. I want a fryer, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and it wasn't...
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Clam that. Right. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, you're my best and only customer. I'm starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big popsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find popsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs> Have a nice day. If you make both my feet in but I gotta warn you. You won't find popsicles in the desert. my little ones. Uh, of course you do. Come on, Gramble. Surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? Maybe. But even still, my kid might wander off if I'm not here. <laughs> it's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. Don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Uh, whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free.
spoon wheels. Big popsicles. Uh, then walk in the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find popsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. Bug snacks and a chip. Like a campfire. Thank <laughs> you. 
Snorpy? Snorpy! Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandlo, I'm not coming outside. I'm this close to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Yes, what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpinati. Who? There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows where I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you! <laughs> no, what? You cannot lift my entire house! Oh, yes, I can! I'ma lift your crib, dog! Do not lift my crib, Chandlo! I have delicate instruments in here and... Lift in your crib, dog! There, I'm out in the fresh air. And I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. Whoa, it's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. I'm Chandlo Funkbun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? Nah, I'm. I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. <laughs> Oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandler has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the Snack Grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. Everything. 
Nice dog. I knew he was up to you. All right, follow me. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but... Snorpy made that grapple thing for me, and I want to see it in action. Check it out. Problem is, I'm sure Snorpy... thing is awesome! I bet it can grab all kinds of stuff. Snorpy's a genius, bro! Check it out, there's a snail right over there. I know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of carbs, but it's actually a master climber. Even I can't keep up with it. I always wanted to climb like that. Hey, see if you can catch me that snail, bro! Stronger already. Watch me vert climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin.
Nice, you made it! You got back pretty fast for a newbie. Me, I got the same time I always get. I guess one bug snack isn't enough to push my limits. There's gotta be more cine snails around this mountain, dog. There's gotta be more cine snails around this mountain, dog. Fuck, fuck, fuck. 
Dunk them sinner snails into my mouth, hoop dog! I can't wait to check my gains. But before that, I got a situation. Ton of bees flew off with my backup balls. Now my balls are up in the sky. No matter how shredded I get, I can't fly. Believe me, I've tried. You gotta be my wings, dog. Master that grabber. Catch me those honeybees.
Solid. If you want me back in town, I'll be there. But I ain't going anywhere without my main dog, Snorpy. He'd be lost without me. I can't get Snorpy to leave, though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. Says it's a secret project. But I got a feeling he'll talk to you. Yes. I wish I could tell Chandler everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? Splendid! There is another device you will need. I've hidden it inside the Bugwatch Tower. Once you have it, I will tell you more. on you during our mutual hugging. Now we can... Ugh, one of those flying bug snacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. Not to worry. With my trip shot device, you can disrupt the snack's movement. Beware, the Grumpanati are always listening. Thank you. 
Watch me for the next phase of the plan. Chum, I have such a craving for cookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be cookies, so that I may taste my own teeth, you see. Oh, do be aware that the trip shot cannot attach to snow, sand, or dirt. A minor design bar, perhaps, but that's what I get for using suction cups instead of knives. I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. But now I hunger for charm mallows. Can't ever have enough charm mallows. <laughs> Popsicle, popsicle, popsicle. 
Peyton, my life. Deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. Oh, and so you know, Cromdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Heh. <laughs> if you need anything else, anything at all, please, 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 call your friend Cromdom. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot. It's too hot. What do I owe the honor? Um, I'm just curious what you... 
What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than Beth. Nobody likes all you snooping around. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you gonna buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Woo! It's chilly tonight. Uh. Alright, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs>
<laughs> With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Hmm, this guy seems clear of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Oh, Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog, let's do this. In just a moment, Chandler. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro, if I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes! What expert hugging that is. You do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. Oh, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. No, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait, town, bro. Chandlo. What's up, bro? Doing a great job, buddy. But hey, don't forget to take care of yourself. In fact, maybe you should turn in early today and just relax. <sighs> Something's wrong, buddy. We better take a look. Africa, Ramble, what happened? We saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a grumpus at first, but like something about it was wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown by any chance? Or was it perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it. <laughs> until it. It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and like scattered. Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. Ah, what a load, Biff. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then, what were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking in the huts? Again? I seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't! Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths! Don't take this the wrong way, darling, but you are a bit high-strung. A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets! You say that again! Whoa! Hey, chill the grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Gramble and Befica are saying is true, there's gotta be some physical evidence left behind, yeah? Indeed. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. Um, uh, good idea. 
Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the restroom? You know, find out what they saw? <laughs> Found what you were looking for? All right, I'll call everybody together. Well, what did you find? Well, that's. Um, I reckon there's got to be some other explanation. Cram it, Wampo. We got a genuine monster on our paws. Hmm. Monster's a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a warning! Oh, that is absurd. Which is more likely, that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door? Or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the Grumpenut... What's more likely, dear, is that you've watched far too many movies. Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. I was top of the charts, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Let's split the difference, eh? You're both wrong. Uh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the earthquakes, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro. from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. Oh, no, no. We shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbeth was around, but those days are long gone. You don't know that. She might come back. Yeah, don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lisbert, all we have is you! That's... that's... not true. Listen, I don't know why Lisbert put me in charge, but I do know this. None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lisbert, but we have each other. 
maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. Uh, I guess you're not wrong. So, we're all staying in town then? Seems like it. As long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofy and Sheldar are still out there, and who knows if they're safe. If you must find Floofy, according to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. And the last time I saw Shelda, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbeth, we gotta find her. We will, Chandlo. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Great! Now, let's go get some sleep. Hey, mind your own beeswax, huh? Hey there. Chandlo, how's it going? How you doing, dog? Oh, oh, oh. Me, dog? I'll crush your questions! Chandlo Funkbun, I lift. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy, I'll get them there. I want to push my limits. Somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place. And I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lisbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But, uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Bro, that's not... just... don't. Anyway, 
I recorded Agabelle's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. But maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. Chandlow. So, a howdy. Hello. Hey there. How you doing? How you doing? Got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Sheldon, all right? <laughs> <laughs> 